Yeah, what's going on YouTube? What it do? Keep lows in your area. Yo, check it out. Um, a lot of people was in my inbox or in my 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 comment section, and they were telling me, yo, why you don't do a, a video on Rich Porter? So I got the new Rich Porter video coming real soon. You know what I mean? Cause I want to give Rich mad respect, cause Rich is definitely a Harlem legend. Even though he was indulging in the kingpin activity, that's just for um, educational purpose so my 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 channel don't get flagged. And yo, once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It's called Keep Low, and um, just hit the thumbs up button for me because that helps me out out a lot. And just also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop more fire content. But yo, check it out. Um, and if you want to get your Keep Low shirt, go to www.keeplowproductions dot com you know what i mean you could get your keep low shirts and you could check them out and um check it out well um somebody had asked me what was rich porter like in my eyes now i'm gonna be truthful with y'all you know what i mean i i didn't know rich porter personally you know what i mean we know of each other and um but i never got a chance to make his acquaintance and, and formally meet him you feel me but um, I seen him on a couple of occasions and I remember the first time I seen Rich Porter, I was on 145th, you know, cause me and my man from Eden War Projects, we had came down to um, 145th to go to Willie's Burgers and shit. You feel me? That's in Harlem, that's a legendary spot. Everybody in New York know about Willie's Burgers and I don't eat meat. I just went there because it'd be mad girls there and it'd be mad fly motherfuckers there. And, you know, I was one of New York fly niggas too. So I'm like, fuck, let's go down there. So I went down to um, Willie's Burgers. And before you get to Willie's Burgers, there's a car wash. You feel me? And um, I was going past the car wash and I looked up and I seen Alpo. And I was like, oh, shit, there go Alpo. And me and my man's room up town was like, oh, shit, that go Poe. And I had new Poe at the time because one time I was riding my motorcycle and, and me and Poe rode around for a little while and he was just showing me some different shit because I, I always wanted to wheelie my motorcycle like Poe, but I didn't know how to fuck with it. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it 100. I had a Suzuki GS450 before I got my Ninja. But um, anyway, Rich Porter was with him and they had their joints there and they had people washing their joints and you know, like, them niggas was the talk of New York at that time. This was, like, I think the late early, the late 80s, like, probably 80-something or early 90s. I'm not sure. But, you know, I had seen the nigga Rich. And you know, y'all know he looked, like, a little bit darker than me and shit. You know what I mean? So I seen him. And I'm like, he ain't had that much jewelry or nothing on. The nigga was just, like... His whole aura was fly, and I'm going to keep it 100. Shout out to the Porter family and Rich Porter, and God bless Donnell, too, you know what I mean? And God bless Rich, you feel me? Because I just want to say that, may they both rest in peace. And it's a tragic situation, what happened to him. But, yo, getting back to the, what I was telling you, I seen Rich Porter, and, you know, I was already getting some money uptown. Shout out to my motherfucking... My dudes, the 41 crew in Eden Wall. Shout out to everybody in Eden Wall that was getting money. But at that time, I was rocking with this dude named Gito, George Torres. And, um, you know, we was doing our thing up in 1141, 1135 because I lived in the police building in 1165. So I couldn't hustle in front of my building, even though we did that dumb shit a little bit. But um, I was uptown getting money with them. So anyway, I was downtown on 145th and we was going towards Willie's Burgers. And we went past the car wash, and I just happened to see Alpo. It was like me and three of my guys. So we seen Alpo, and I like, that go to a nigga Poe or whatever. So we, we bent around. You know, I busted Yui, and we bent around to the um, car wash, and we went over there. But we wasn't going to be no groupy-ass niggas and just run, oh, Alpo Rich. Nah, we wasn't on that shit. But we went over there, you know, and just checked out what they was doing and watched how the people was reacting around them. But the nigga Rich Porter... He was on some real cool guy shit, and I will give him that. And like I said, rest in peace, Rich Porter. The nigga was just on some down low shit. You know Alpo, he was showing off and doing his shit and getting everybody's attention. But Rich was on some lay low, like Lilo shit. Not as cool and lay low as AZ, because Rich was kind of flamboyant too. But he was just like being easy. But everybody was like fascinated and drawn to the nigga. And like, I don't... Just from my analogy of the situation now, 
I don't think that Rich Porter really liked it, that attention. It just came to him naturally. See, Alpo soaked it up and he just swam in their attention. You feel me? But Rich was a different animal and Rich was just chilling and being himself. But everybody was checking this nigga out and liking him. You know what I mean? But yo, once again, rest in peace to Rich Porter. And I just did this little video because somebody asked me what was Rich like. And that time when I saw Rich, he was on some cool, easy shit. You know what I mean? And then another time I think I seen him around the rooftop or somewhere around the polo grounds, like on 155th or whatever. And the nigga Rich was just always easy. Every time I seen him, he was always easy. But I'm going to say something about him. Rich, he just, I seen him a couple of times. He wasn't really no laughy, jokey nigga. He was like in serious mode most of the time. And I'm not talking about walking around with the goony face or none of that goofy shit. But the nigga was just like in serious mode. And well, anyway, this last in regard, that's my take on how I had my encounters with Rich Porter and I'm seeing him or whatever. So that's my take on Rich Porter, you know what I mean? But I'm going to do a video on him too, you know what I mean? And I got a video, I think I'm going to do a video on Jeff Fort because somebody for ask me to do a video on Jeff Fort from Chicago and a lot of people from New York don't really know about Jeff Fort. So I'm gonna do my due diligence and I'm gonna do a video on Jeff Fort as well. As well. And yo, anybody y'all wanna see a video on, y'all just get in the comment section and y'all tell me, you know what I mean? And if anybody knew Richard Porter or y'all rocked with him, get in the comment section and state what Rich was like and let's keep this legend, his legend alive, man. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. Shout out to all the New York devil niggas. Shout out to the niggas that's devil worldwide. No goofy niggas. You feel me? Yo, keep loaded company. Subscribe to my channel. Lashing the guard. I'm a ghost.